What's going on, fellas? Today, I was actually about to do a reball. This is a 3080 Ti core, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, J102300, I believe so, yeah. Um, this here, I have not yet cleaned up the pads. Like, this has just been removed and I've deleted, or deleted, I removed the uh, lead-free solder off of here. But I still have to clean it up. So you can kind of tell that it's not clean versus clean. Um, but a while back, I made a video about... Uh, GPU sag and you know all this other stuff and um, I want to give you a demonstration on how like how bad the issue is when you let your GPU sag in your system uh, without any support or not installed um, on a vertical riser and I don't mean the vertical riser that's included with your case I mean a third-party riser uh, okay so if you thought that GPU cores don't bend, you are in for a treat. Uh, the 3090 and the 3080s especially, because they're, these are huge cores. What is this? This looks like a, I don't know where this core came from, but I think this is a 3070 or 3070 Ti. Um, I have to clean this up. But the, anyway, if you look at the comparisons there, Okay, so this is uh, one of the main reasons why this happens. Like if you look at this core from the side, it looks okay. It doesn't look bad, like it doesn't look bowed or anything. Uh, this one here, you can kind of see it's bowed a little bit, right? Um, but the one that I was about to <laughs> reball, I didn't notice this until like I, I took it out and I, and I was looking like this. I was looking sideways to look at the pads. And then I noticed how bad this is. Let me just <clears throat> for reference, so you guys can uh, get a better idea what I'm talking about here. I'm sorry, it's hard. I mean, I know I should be using a tripod, but this is not gonna be a long video. So I didn't think I would use a tripod. So you can kind of see the gap right there in the middle. And when you, when I add the balls, that would uh, even bring that, make that gap even bigger. Even though you will have balls in the middle too, but just because of the sides being, you know, having balls, this will increase that gap further, potentially causing problems for the balls in the middle. This is what happens when the board uh, is uh, bowed because of sag. Uh, these cores, especially these cores, 3080, 3090s. Uh, they suffer from a lot, you know, a lot of failure due to the sag and the bowing of the course. Let's look at the second one here, just for reference. So it makes more sense. Like if you look at this one here, this one here is not actually, um, this is not so bad. Look at this. It's almost perfect. So there's no issue with this one. I think I'm going to stick to this one here instead. And kind of stay away from that one, even though it's, you know, yeah, I already cleaned it up. Um, let's look at the 3070, because I believe that's what this core is. Bear with me. Yep, look at that. No issues. This 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 will be a nice, clean job. And the substrate, the substrate looks pretty straight on this one here. It'll be easy to clean up. So, yeah. So, 4070 Ti and uh, 3080 or 3080 Ti, um, or it might be a 39, no, no, this is a 3080 Ti, yeah, 225. So, yeah, uh, man, that's just another reason why I advocate for, you know, um, vertical mounts, and um, otherwise it'll be hell to pay when you go, when I go and try to, uh, uh, let me just show you here how this works. This is the way that I do it. Um, these are my stencils there, but that's, those are for 90 by 90, so they're, they're not direct heat. This is a direct heat stencil, um, and you have to keep these things immaculate, clean, if you're gonna work with these things. 
So basically this thing just goes on here. I mean, I already managed to scuff it a little bit, but so in case you're wondering how to do it, um, direct heating, the basic, basically a stencil goes on here. You put this thing on here like this with the chip underneath. So you put it here with the chip underneath and then you just apply heat. Uh, obviously you have to um, use some um, flux for this. So, you know, just smear it a little bit, put the stencil on here, let the balls fall into place uh, as you have it here. And then just add heat and then remove the stencil. Easy, easy peasy. The same way I do my memory uh, reballs. But um, no, that's not the topic of the video today. It was just this here. This is, um, uh, this means I cannot use this core. I'm gonna have to uh, throw it away because it is so badly uh, deformed. Like, but uh, anyway, that was it. It was just a rant about uh, sagging cards and what happens to the not only the board but also the GPU cores. They do bow, and when that does happen, uh, they become either unusable because pads get ripped from like the, this area here or from this area here, um, or they just become bowed real bad like this, and that becomes a problem. All right. See you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.